On the 26th of March 1985, the military administration of Major General Muhammad Buhari officially inaugurated the country's first indigenous tea company in Kakara community, Sadana local government area of Taraba State. It was named Highland Tea Company and expectations were high that it would position Nigeria as one of the world's leading tea producers and earn it foreign exchange in ample quantity. But that dream is still work in progress. Kakara lies on the scenic Mambila Plateau, paragon of undefeated beauty and favored by many for its beautiful landscape and chilly weather. Gembu, as this general area is called, is the highest peak in Nigeria, located at an elevation of 1,544 meters above sea level, with a daytime temperature of 19 degrees centigrade, while the night temperature can go as low as 11 degrees centigrade. Here, because of the chilly nature of the environment, residents hardly use air conditioners or refrigerators. TVC Insight crew led by correspondent Uwulabi Adenusi visited the tea company and the farming communities. Their journey began at about 5 a.m. They rode on motorbikes for almost two hours from Unguroje to Kakara, home to the nation's first native tea company. A visit to communities in Nigeria always starts with a call on the traditional ruler. The crew's first port of call was the palace of Kakara's traditional ruler. This tea farming was established sometime December or January 1975. And since then, it has been on and off, on and off, but uh, coming to some time, let it want to get down uh the former nigeria beverage can no longer manage it well uh, it uh, then we were told the state government bought off the tea and with the coming in of the governor architect Dario DC, he refabulated it uh, everything there is is is, is normal to him Setting up a tea company in his domain is a great relief to his people as it has contributed positively to their livelihood. A tea company is helping a lot, helping a lot, helping my community. That's the entire Kakara, where we call my uh, children, is called Kam Kam Children but about 17 to 27 villages do the tea, fa do tea farming. And through this uh, tea farming that they sponsor their children to schools, treatment, clothing, and other etc. Many things. Indeed. There is no household in Kakara that does not grow tea, and many residents were eager to speak with TVC Insight on their achievements through tea growing. I personally, I went to school through this tea. I'm a degree holder. In fact, this tea has helped a lot, and we have so many graduates in this community, and we don't have any source of sponsor except through this tea. I hope you understand. So we still have so many, like the company now, has to give us scholarship so that our students, our children will at least move to the next level in order they should come back and represent us in the company. I hope you understand. So this is also one of the things that we have been doing and we still need the support of the government. Garena ya kafa sabo da tea nan da garena ba ye kafa ba I be family tea for many years and it has helped me to finance my family 
started there, I can say, from, from, from that 10 years old, that is 2002, when I was here in this community. Also achieving from this tea plucking. It's through this tea during the holiday, I always come to pluck tea. After plucking the tea, it is there I will achieve my, my school fees and even the final year registration and in 2013 that I could be able to pay it is through the tea. Through the tea we do uh, carry our children to school and it helps us in doing many things such as domestic work at home and it, it also helps us to sponsor ourselves in going to one place or another. So actually we need the government to help us by empowering us through uh, getting us fertilizer and chemicals. That is the way we are having some challenges. If you are farm is almost is around a hectare. If at least that two weeks you will get no less than 200 kg. And that 200 kg is worth up to six to seven thousand years. Which means in a month if you have one hectare you have at least almost 14,000 years. So you see that money will help you to do your work and to send your children to school. But where we are having challenges is uh, to uh, fertilizer and chemicals. On the way to the tea company, the crew met a woman and her daughter harvesting tea. She spoke on the joy of tea farming. My daughter and I work in a tea farm and this is the means through which I pay her school fees. The company's tea nursery is located at a spitting distance to the tea company. Here, TVC Inside crew was put through the tea growing process. And the nursery is a place where you will have to nurse your plant for some certain level before you transplant it. So looking at it now, you can see it's covered by poly sheet. So this process of covering takes about nine months before it is matured for transplanting on the field. So the first stage you do is for you to get a poly pot, which is about nine inches. So you now put two different types of soil the black soil and the red soil. So then you go to the farm and collect your cuttings. You plant it. So as soon as you plant it now, it takes about nine months for it to be taken to the field for planting. So the first year you plant it on the field, you call it zero zero year. Because that year you are not harvesting it and you are not making any profit out of it. You are only spending and maintaining it. The crew moved from the nursery to the factory to see the production chain right up to the finished product. Tea production is undoubtedly a tedious process involving the plucking, withering, rolling, oxidizing and the drying process. The categories of tea are distinguished by the processing they go through. Heavy machines and plenty of manpower is involved. Production supervisor and other production staff speak on tea manufacturing. This is the withering troughs. As we said, when the leaf is received, it's conveyed to the withering troughs. And the essence of withering is to reduce the moisture of the leaf to a standard of 68 to 72 percent. In a black tea product, the higher the moisture of the leaf, the bad the quality, and the lesser the moisture of the leaf the bad the quality. So we try to ensure that the right moisture that is required in the leaf because before cutting is sustained, which is 68 to 72%. Through the help of the government, the work has helped in assisting my family's welfare. Without it, I'll be unable to feed and send my children to school. Some workers who had worked in the production unit for up to 10 years 
share their experiences with TVC Insight. Tea farming is what I do, and I'm happy with it. General Manager of the Highland Tea highlighted some gains so far made and where the company hopes to be 10 years from now. The market of Highland Tea is growing at geometrical progression every day. We have the market and uh, we thank God we've been expanding even in the production of Highland Tea. We've been working towards to, towards seeing that we export Highland tea to the outside world, that is outside the shore of Nigeria. And this has been uh, our nest plant. And that is why we have about uh, 10,000 hectares of land in Abon, which is our nest uh, plant to expand the, the tea uh, production. And we will say that is a challenge, but we are working towards that. The other issue is issue of uh, 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 irrigation. You see, the rain system here is not giving us enough uh, water that we, we want. However, you can see that we have irrigation all our farms. So it has been a challenge. The gap at a period that we don't have enough rainfall and the period that rain will start is a challenge to us. But we have complemented that towards the irrigation that we have in our farms. The Highland tea of today is automatically different from what you used to know it. This has been attested by all and sundry of our customers. And we thank our Excellency, the Governor of Taraba State, Akite Darius Dixon Ishaku, who revived this company in 2015 through the completion of the hydropower plant that is providing 400 kilowatt uh, power to the company and also the provisions of uh, tea bagging machines and tea overwrapping machines that today you can see that the product is better than what it used to be. So for the challenges, at the moment we don't have any serious challenges. Since government have intervened in 2015, the company has been doing well. This can be shown clearly in our profit margin. The profit of the company is growing year by year. If you see our profit margin from 2015, that of 2016 is greater. And that of 2017 is also higher than that of 2016. You can see that we are growing every day. Speaker of the Taraba State House of Assembly, Abel Peter Dia, called for a review of the national tea policy. Generally, what we need in Nigeria, before I narrow myself to Mambila Plateau, is um, a revolution in the area of agriculture. We need an agricultural policy that will spell out clearly the, the, will give a percentage to our imports, the kind of agricultural imports we can import at a particular time. And more emphasis should be given to the local production we have here. Because if you look at the, taking us back to the, national, to the tea, we need a national tea policy in this country that will state clearly, we can give 20% breverages importation to other teas in the, in the world. But I can tell you that even if it is 100%, Mambila tea can supply the, the entire country with the, the, our requirement of tea. Because as it is now, you've been to Kakara, you can still see that they have finished products packed there in the store. And they, they, they cannot, uh, they, don't, they can't sell it because Nigerians, you know, our mentality uh, about uh, teas coming from abroad is different. Whereas the man from abroad is valuing our tea, you know, when, when the ambassador, United Nations ambassador came here, United States ambassador came to Kakara, you know, he, he went around and he was so impressed uh, about the, 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 the tea factory, you know. But it's, we are not giving it the maximum production because 
The machines you see there, the state government, uh, under the leadership of architect Dario de Sinchako, brought in a new set of machines. So our production is like, uh, I've improved with like almost 80 or 70 percent. So we, we urgently need a national tea policy. And I'm urging the federal government to use this opportunity to come up with a national tea policy in this country. This place is capable of employing over 50,000 youths if the tea is used to its maximum. If, that's, if we maximize the, 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 the machines we have there. But as it is now, uh, there, there is underproduction because even if they produce, where will they go and sell it? Nowhere. So there is urgent need for national tea policy in Nigeria. No, I see a lot of future for the island tea in Taraba State. For the first time since 1976, it declared dividend in two years. Last year, last two years they declared dividend, last year they declared dividend. That is to say, we are going forward. So there is hope. And uh, you know that uh, the tea is not limited to only Kakara. The entire Mambila Plateau, you can grow tea. About 80% of the Mambila Plateau, you can use it to grow tea. So that is, even if there is expansion, uh, there is land for expansion, we will use more, just the way the, the EU did, in the EEC did in those days. We can still acquire more land, even if there is a need for, uh, the, for us to grow more tea so that we will meet our production capacity. I think we have the we have enough land. So there is I see hope for the fact for 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 the tea. And uh, you know one thing is that uh, the present government, uh, the governor has uh, demonstrated the will political willpower to to support the tea. And that's why the tea is growing fast and uh, you are seeing it the way it is now. So Taraba State Governor Darius Ishaku is confident that before the end of his administration, he would lead a revolution in the tea sector that will enable the country to do better than Kenya, the world's leading exporter of tea. We can bring ourselves to the level of Kenya if we are serious. Uh, I have shown how serious we can be. Uh, within four years, uh, tea that was dead dead in the Mambila Plateau is now on production every day, every hour, non-stop. We have changed all the machines to brand new CTC machines. We have changed the packaging uh, machines twice. We have done everything to put tea in the market. The beauty of it all is that our tea is about one of the best here and outside. Our tea is better than the one in Kenya. Because before they ship tea from Kenya to Nigeria, it takes months. Before they ship tea from maybe India or China, it takes months. But our tea is fresh in the market. This tea I'm drinking, maybe highest is four weeks on the shelf. So the taste is different. And I don't take this tea with sugar. All this I take without sugar. And I have enjoyed the test. Well, most people now are taking the tea. And so what do I do now? I'm uh, giving the airport some as gifts. And uh, luckily, I think it's in Abuja, they have started cooking it in the reception. But we need to do a lot of work to be able to meet up with the, the, the requirement. We, we have not met, uh, we are not up to 10%. We have not even met up with 10% of the tea requirements in the country. I will pray that maybe, maybe by the eighth year, we should maybe get to like 30, 40%. But that would mean an aggressive push. And that would mean having like four, five, of that kind of factories up the road. And that will mean having power to drive it. And that will mean having infrastructure. The road that you take now, even to the Mambila, is being built by the state government. And it's still not reimbursed. What I'm doing, we're making an aggressive nursery. 
progressive nursery. This year alone, we are going to plant between 1 to 1.5 million tree stems. And it takes about two years to do the nursery before you go and plant it, and about five years on the field. So it's not as if you just pick it like corn and plant it. But the beauty of tea, it at least takes 50 years. You will, you will just be harvesting it every, every time it grows. So what I'm saying, we are working hard. And uh, in another four years, we should be able to triple or quadruple our production. But then you will need to have more tea factories to meet up with the requirement because we are 200 million people and still counting. I don't know where I, I, I read that is it by 2050 we should be like 300 and something million. So you see our population is huge. I don't know how what is the population of Kenya but Kenya may be like 40, 50 million people. So you see if 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 uh, the quantity that may satisfy Kenya may not satisfy just one region in this country. So we need to really put in more. But the more, the biggest problem is the estates. The three estates, three estates, the, the tea estates is the problem. You need to have the tea estates then before you talk of the factory, before you talk of the blocking. Because it will be on a regular basis if you have the factory. You can't have a factory and then you are not pro producing anything. But when you have the estate, then you will be on, in business. You can be producing. Still has oil. The, the, the main stem has oil. But then, recently, recently, the MD was telling us that uh, in the, some countries like Jordan and the uh, other countries they are looking for the not this tree, they are looking for the the main stem you know after producing the tea i don't know whether you went into the factory you will see that the they they are throwing away some of the stems and this is uh, the three leaves they pick just the three top where the chlorophyll is the thickest or highest then the stem and this is being thrown away they are buying those things because I understand it has a lot of tea contents. So those um, countries that take a lot of this uh, shy, this, the, those that cook this tea and are continuously taking it in this hot climate, they prefer the, the um, I think it has more, more caffeine content. So they prefer that. So what they were pouring away now, they are now bagging it and selling it outside the country is making them good money now. But Taraba's Highland Tea Company needs greater manpower to meet soaring domestic demands. A great effort has to be put in if Nigeria is to register its name among the leading producers and exporters of tea.